Hi guys, we are gonna be making some delicious Thai pumpkin cake or in Thai we call Khanom Phak Thong. This steamed pumpkin cake is easy to make, delicious and totally portable. It's perfect treat for afternoon tea, get-togethers and holiday parties. So if you want your pumpkin desserts and try something different, you are come to the right place. This Thai steamed pumpkin cake uh, is the one best of Thai desserts that really easy to make it. To start, you are gonna need to preheat steamer and steam the pumpkin for about 15 minutes. If you don't have steamer, you can boil it instead. Once you are fully cooked, and of course, you should check with the fox, and the fox should come out clean. Take the piece out and let's cool down completely. And then you are gonna to mash pumpkin for two. 250 grams until it's nice soft puree. Then you are gonna to add in the flour, the sugar, coconut milk, salt, a quarter cup rice flour. A quarter cup potato flour. Half tablespoon of topical flour, but this is, if you don't have this, you can replace with the potato flour. Is no problem. A quarter teaspoon of salt, half of cup of the sugar. And the last one is half cup of coconut milk. For the recipe, for the ingredients, I will put in the description box below. Then you are gonna need to mix it really well with spatula or with your hand. And add the pumpkin steam and then knead them for about 5 minutes with the spatula or with your hand. But for your hand, you need to clean it well and it's better for knead with your hand. After it already mixed well like this, we need to hold it for 20 minutes. And then steam the cup for about 10 minutes for help the desserts not stick the cup. But if you don't want, it's fine. And now you need to pour in the mixture into the small cup or in some Thai banana leaf cups. Fill them up until they are about 3 quarters of cup.
and sprinkle the remaining shredded coconut on top of each mold. You can use the fresh coconut or dried coconut like I do today, but I recommend you to use the fresh coconut. It's more delicious. But today I did not have, and then I used the dried coconut. It's fine. And you are gonna need to steam them for about 20 minutes or, or 30 minutes or until they are fully cooked. And now it's ready and let's cool down for about 30 minutes. It's so soft and a bit of sticky, but when you eat it, feel very good and very delicious. I hope you guys give this try to this recipe. And if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, and follow me on my Facebook and my YouTube channel. And see you next time. Bye.